Hello guys and welcome, it is the SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another episode of How To Get Good, the series where I'll go ahead, pick a weapon, use all its variants and teach you guys a thing or two of how you can get good with it. Also I have the addition of the hand cam so you guys can see what's going on with my hands when I use X weapon. Uh, today's episode is going to be non none other than the Squeezer, uh, which is also a really great weapon. Uh, it's one of the harder weapons in this game, or harder shooters I should say. Uh, so I guess a thing about this squeezer is, or the, a thing about the squeezer, is that it's a tap firing weapon that also has an auto firing mode. So if you are tapping with the uh, the trigger button, whichever button that you mapped it to, because you might have a different one, uh, basically you should be doing a extremely long long range shooting, uh, continuous shooting thing. Uh, that's just. I guess before the range of the Jet Squelcher, it's very close, but not quite close enough. It's it's super long range, and you'll see when we are uh, actually playing with it too, so... It's a great weapon, and it also has this little auto-firing mode for painting, because if you are to do the tap-firing mode for painting, it's awful. Uh, so it does have that auto-firing mode for that, so you guys will see how I, uh, I guess, approach a squeezer or use a squeezer uh, in basically general play. We're going to start off with the foil variant first, mainly because it's one that I'm more uh, familiar with. Uh, it has splat bombs and bubble blower, it's much like the Forge Pro, and it plays basically just the same way, except, uh, you know, the mechanics of the weapon is different. So, that's all I gotta really say. Let's get into the foil squeezer and let's show you guys a couple of games. This is the build that I'm going to be running with it. Uh, everything on it basically is there to make sense. You know, swim speed, because I have long range, I can move back as fast as I possibly can. Uh, the special power-up is to power up the bubbles, an object trader to pop the bubbles faster, all that jazz. All right, let's get into it, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be making this game the very first game. The first game that I did, I don't feel like I really explained the, 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 the squeezer, although the game was good. I'm still gonna show you that game. And that's going to be your second game, but it's actually going to be also in Clamblitz, because it's the le very last game of that very uh, that rotation that I just played. But, to talk about the Squeezer in general, as I said, it has a very, very long-range weapon. Uh, so, you want to make sure that you can use the range to, I guess, as much as you possibly can. Uh, I try, I guess with me, how I play this thing, is that I don't try to... I guess, engage things too closely, mainly because I do have so much range and I want to use the most of it. And you don't worry, like, of course you can just be up close to people and hit all your shots because, uh, might I add, that this is a 100% 100 accurate weapon, which is pretty great, not gonna lie. I mean, you know, it's really nice that you can actually have a weapon that's uh, pretty much all the time is gonna be 100% accurate. Uh, besides those points when... I guess it's not 100% accurate when you're doing the auto-firing mode. And when you use the auto-firing mode, it is not ideal to use it for fights. It's only ideal really to paint with it. So, you know, I try and do my best to kind of, you know, have situations show themselves to me before I try to challenge them. Because a lot of people don't really, I guess, they forget the, I guess, the amount of range that this thing can actually have. And they often get surprised by it. Now, we can't bank on that all the time because, of, of course, you're going to fight against players that are going to be smarter against uh, fighting against squeezers and all that. So, you just got to be careful about things like this. Now, I'm going to die here. I did take out two, which is great. As long as we go to the right side, we should be fine uh, continuing on here. Uh, we get a little, a little death there. That's fine. So... I mean, the excavation was great. There was a disconnection on the other team, unfortunately. So, it, I mean, depending on how this goes, I mean, there's two or three guys in the middle right now. I believe the team is such... I, I believe we just won. <laughs> I mean, the disconnection was at the very end, so it didn't exactly matter too much. So, I guess why not play another game? It's a little bit sad that I had to end like that, but at least you'll get a little bit more time. Uh, for me to actually show you guys that this, I guess, everything about this squeezer. Um, I did say I was going to show you my very first game. Now that's going to be the third game. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So, second game, I guess. <laughs> because uh, that one game, I mean, it ended really fast. 
obviously. I mean, it's Rainmaker. That's, that's, that's how Rainmaker games kind of go these days. Uh, but, I mean, just to show you more of the spoil squeezer instead of, uh, you know, just having an ended game like that. I mean, the explanation of the very first game was good, so that's why I wanted to keep it. Uh, so, let's go forward. I'm just going to go ahead and paint on the left, or on the snipe here, a little bit. Uh, on this, is, this is actually one of those maps where popping it isn't so necessary, because it doesn't exactly give you a lot of map control, but, I mean, sometimes it might give you a free kill, which is actually quite cool. Well, obviously it's quite cool, because it's a kill. Uh, foil squeezer on that side. I don't know what this guy is doing, but the bomb is going to help uh, kill him. I didn't want to pick this Rainmaker up. <laughs> it's in my hands now. I was actually about to set up my bubbles. Uh, oh, gotta be careful with snipe. That guy's very weak though. Okay, I'm gonna get taken out there. Yeah, I didn't want to pick that Rainmaker up. I actually was gonna try and set up my bubbles through forwards. And then maybe pick it up, or maybe it's someone else to pick it up, because then I can lead it, uh, lead the Rainmaker up. Uh, but, either way, it's fine. Uh, ideally, I'm just gonna hold this one side. Okay, he's trying to do, uh, bubble things to me. Gotta be careful here. Some people do love to, I guess, chill on that, uh, very platform there. Or that very plat, I should say. Uh, so it's one thing I just gotta be careful about. Throw a bomb there, just in case they do try to pick up the Raymaker and fool on the other side. We gotta be careful of this 52. There you go, he is now taken out. I think there's a guy right here, yep. Squeezer, another one. Oh, this guy behind me now as well. <laughs> we need to get some control here so we can actually um, go ahead and push it forward. So that's uh, one of our initial struggles right now. Let's do stop the Raymaker, which is great. I'm actually just gonna chill right here. They got bubbles again. We gotta be really careful about these squeezers. Squeeze uh, is dead. Nicely done. We killed up both squeezes. We gotta be careful about this 52. And the splatter shot who seems to be on the left side. This is definitely the T-Tech. Did he just drop? Alright, well, I'm gonna bubble here just so my person is safe. And the tent to tech is on this side. There we go. Thank you, Bubbles. And you come in handy sometime. If you decide to drop, you'll die. Oh, God. We're being challenged by two guys here. One of them has to die. <laughs> At least one of them. There we go. Alright. That was a little bit of an awkward situation because I was being pushed back from the guy on the left and I had to move back since we were at man... Well, they had man advantage there. So I had to be more careful than usual. Now, it does seem like they're trying to go from front. The bubbles are going to destroy us there, unfortunately. Uh, but that is totally okay. It might seem like... Oh, okay. They're not really, really pushing so much, but except... The I'm just going to be careful about the ink jet. We do stop the Raymaker, which is great for us. There's just a bunch of people here. The 52 is very weak. He is going to die, though. Uh, squeezer here. I'm actually just going to get the jump. Hopefully we can stop the Raymaker. Nice. And the last guy is this foil squeezer. Uh, who is now on this position here. I kind of want to get a... Well, I just kind of want to make sure I have an angle in him before I try to do anything. Now, we need to kind of make some moves, too, so because we, we can't stay here forever. Uh, set the bubbles up here. I do see two guys on the right. Might be able to get a pop here, hopefully. Got a little bit of map control on the right side. Yeah, there's a guy here. The bomb for information. Just check where the spider shot's going, which is great. Nice. We've actually killed two. Okay. I'm actually just going to leave him. Uh, nice. Cool, cool, cool. That's actually perfect. Might be able to get the bomb kill there. Nope. I believe that splatter shot might have just gone flat, or might have come from this side here. So I'm actually going to take this position. Uh, oh, no, no, no. He's here. Bomb's going to get him. Nice. I believe the 52's uh, helping him here. Yep. All right. Going back. I believe now we have a squeezer. <laughs> I hit two shots into him. The 52's chasing me. I got to back up because I, I want to preserve life. The 52 is now dead. I don't know if uh, the other foil squeezer was taken out. Actually, no, he's on the front. Uh, just gonna chill here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I landed right on top of me, unfortunately, there. Oh, this is not so good, actually. Okay, good stop. All right, we have 30 seconds left. We gotta just play some good defense. I do appreciate my team actually backed up here. Perfect time. Uh, I think the 52 actually got up. 
We gotta be careful. We gotta be really careful. They also have bubbles too. We have killed the 52. Oh gosh. Oh. Nice. Alright. We had a stray person just going for the Rainmaker there and he actually stopped it. So, perfect time there. Nice. <laughs> that was a solid game. Right. So, I think that's a solid... That's actually a solid game with the Foil Squeezer. Uh, we had one with Clan Blitz, but I didn't have the greatest commentary, which you'll see after this game right now. Uh, but that was a solid Rainmaker game. This is... Something I wanted to show, and I got to show you guys some more stuff about Squeezer, so... Win-win for you, for you guys. Okay, so hopefully we can get into this game of Clan Blitz. I believe if uh, all goes well, it's not just a sh super short game, uh, we'll get a completely... We'll only, get be we'll only be getting one Clan Blitz game because the rotation's about to change. But it's going to be on Makomar, which is... Uh, I wouldn't say it's ideal for the weapon that I have right now, mainly because on this map it's quite hard to kind of use long-range weapons, I guess. Uh, but, either way, we're going to be using Foy Squeezer here, so. Uh, since we don't have to move so much, I'm going to try and use this auto-firing mode to get my... What's it called? Try and get my bubbles as fast as possible, if that's even possible, really. Oh. Okay, that guy dangerously messed up. I am a little bit sus about this uh, ball just here. Oh, never mind. No splashdown kill for me, unfortunately, but... Wow, okay. I'm gonna get killed by there. Uh, there is a guy in the middle, and there's gonna be one guy on the right stack. Uh, or at this point, I feel like what I should do is go for my bubble straight away again. I might try to uh, pop it as my... Uh, what do you call it? It might be the first thing I do next time when I try to uh, get a bubble in there. Uh, okay, one, two down. The last guy is the bamboo. I just want to make sure I am not trying to mess around with him because they can pop me in one shot and that will be very, very dangerous. There's a guy on the left. There's a guy pushing me right here with the roller. I was suspecting that he was going to the right side but then instead he took the decision to push there. Uh, that is totally fine. We have taken two in the middle. I'm actually just going to go ahead and paint this again. Actually, if I... Okay, this is actually opportunity. I'm toss my bomb. That's going to push the bamboo back. I don't know where the splash matic has gone, but it does seem that we've got some decent control here. I believe that's a splash right there. Okay, my bamboo friend has taken the kill on him. One shot. Nice. They're actually all dead. Perfect. All right. Take this opportunity to get a couple clams, toss some clams in, there you go. I'm actually gonna have to back up since the, I believe the splash is just already spawned in, yep. I uh, do have bubbles, gonna set it up. It's gonna be more annoying for them if they try to do anything. I'm gonna be straight away pressured there, but the bubbles should keep my people alive for a little bit. I mean, my carbon's alive in my bubbles for a little bit, so that's not so bad. And it does seem like they're gonna start trying to get a push going, so I'm just going to be very careful here. I do know that people like to uh, take control of this block on the right here, so I'm just going to try and do my best to try and watch it. Uh, I'm not going to try and push so hard, it's better to just kind of defend from a distance sometimes. And last one's the bamboo. Cool. That was good defense there. We can go ahead and push him. I'm going to toss the bomb behind. That should kill him. There you go. Alright, I'm going to just paint up the left side here. I'm going to have a quick bubble again. And... I think I would actually... When I get the, this bubble, I'm probably just going to set it up straight away, so... Set it up, the bubble. They do have... No, they did just set up a, a cloud here, too, which is uh, something we've got to be careful of. Actually, no, 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 no. The bamboo's coming. Just going to toss that over there. Nicely done. Toss that clam in. There is a couple of clams spawning onto this right side here. I'm just getting my clams in. The splash is still behind me, but the clams are more important. Plus, we got to take down a little bit more of the penalty, too, so rather just get that in first. Uh, it does seem like we've got control here, so all right. So again, I do have a lot of range, and I feel like what I'm going to do is just kind of chill on this part, because I do have a lot of range, and I want to use it to the best of my ability. There we go. 
That guy's definitely gonna die. Last one's a splash. I'm not too sure exactly where he is. Uh, I believe he must be on the left because he's nowhere on the right. Okay, there it is. The bomb's gonna get him instead. Nice. The bamboo's in a prime spot. I'm not gonna chant that. No point. That dually sculpture is one. There we go. Nice. Left. It's actually dropping left. All the way left. I hear the roller. Nice. Last one's the bamboo here. Alright, setting up bubbles. Oh, I do see someone. Okay, no, no, he drops. Alright. Thank you. Bubbles saved me there somewhat. I'm gonna get the 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 window. Nice. <laughs> a little bit of a nice victory. Uh I gotta be honest, I'm not really so sure about the commentary. The game was good. Uh, but I feel like I might make this as a second game instead of the first game. So things might be a little bit mixed up. Uh, because, you know, I was just kind of playing just to play, if you know what I mean. But, yeah. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the Squeezer in the next game. Okay, so time for the original Squeezer, which is a little bit of a mishmash, not going to lie. Because it has a wall and it has a stingray. Now, knowing the nature of this weapon, it's an extremely accurate weapon, long-range weapon, and it having a wall is amazing. But will it really help the special? Like, this is a type of weapon where you're not really going to be throwing a wall and then using a stingray right after it. You're only going to do one or the other. Like, you're going to use the wall to be aggro with it, and you're going to use the squeezer to be defensive. So it's kind of like... You can do these two things, but which one are you really going to focus on? Are you going to focus on the wall? Or are you going to focus on the stingrays? That's the that's the thing. This weird thing about this weapon, and I, I mean, I honestly think it's really good because obviously the squeezer is just generally a good weapon. It's kind of like the fifty-two deco, where you have this the curling bomb, you throw it in forward uh, to be aggro, but you also have a stingray because you want to actually pick off people from far off. So. We're going to try and do the mix of the two to try and make it work because I honestly I think this could work really well. Uh, but we'll see. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here we are, guys, going into the Rainmaker game once again on Snapper Canal using the regular squeezer. So it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to, I think what I'm going to do actually is just go straight for the paint for my squeezer since I'm using special charge with this. Mainly because I want to play more Stingray bot-like. Just like how I would with a Jet Sculpture. I'm not too sure how fast I'm going to get it. I mean, the paint it takes is 180. So that's something. Uh, that guy's going to die. There's actually three people on the right here. I don't know if... I wasn't getting any hits there, but... Uh, I do want to be careful since there's three guys on my right. I don't know if... Oh, no. They just suppressed the snipe like that. That's unfortunate. Alright. I had to be more careful with those. Oh yeah, I'm not wearing bomb defense. That's probably why I died to those missiles so fast. Uh, if you guys really know, interesting or fun fact is that if you do not wear bomb defense, it will, the Tenta missiles will affect you. It will do at least 50 damage uh, on splash damage. Uh, so instead of me dying to... At least three bullets or three tenor missiles, it takes like two, which can be very, very bad. And I potentially should use it uh, if I'm going to use a weapon much like this. Now, I'm going to Stingray uh, from the back. Might get a couple of hits. That guy's very weak. He's actually on the snipe. There he goes. We can actually get a pop here and then do something real cool. Get a lead or something. That guy is dead. All right. We can spawn camp here. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know about this, Chief. I should probably throw my wool here, but... I'm just kind of waiting for things to come to me before I try to pressure them strangely. Okay, I didn't get the hits there, unfortunately. Uh, it's just chilling here. Alright, I'm fine, I'm fine. I might actually just go for a Stingray again. Uh, they're not even jumping it off, so... Yeah, we're really mixing it up here, guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that was the spot I should have Stingray on. I probably could have backed up even further and potentially got the Stingray off there, but that's my fault. All right, it seems like we're going to have to go for defense here. Toss the wall. This loose should die eventually, though. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing. Oh, no, I killed the wrong guy. Uh, no. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, at least he's off the platform. We just need to get the pop and we're good. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> a little bit of a throw there, but um, that's, uh, I mean, we're okay. A little bit of a throw. Okay. So it just seems like everyone might go towards... They're trying to go for right again, I think. I gotta be really careful about bombs. It's actually, it's my mistake that I'm not using bomb defense right now because uh, they are actually really affecting me. There we go. It does seem like they might be trying to go right again. Yep. Just trying to play it smart here. I'm not trying to, like... I'm not trying to throw my life away since I do have a Stingray and I, can, I know I can use it in some points. Uh, there's actually two guys here. That is weak. Uh, he dropped over here, I think. Okay, there we go. The assist is there. Toss the wall, I'll block him off. Nope, I'm being chased here now. He's won. He's gonna die here. Nicely done. Alright, I believe they might go from... I think there might be still guys on our side, no? Okay. Well, I don't know where this mini's gone. Okay, well, the Trisler sure was the... Is on their snipe. Good to know. He's actually gone to this side too. There's actually multiple here. I haven't closed this Stingray, so I guess I'm moving back here. Stingray, that guy. He's weak. He jumped out. Perfect. Alright, we can actually... It's probably ideal for us to push left. I'll take the one kill on the tri slusher, but... It may have been a little bit more ideal to push left, mainly since it, the time is running out, and we would have a better time maybe defending on the left. Just in my opinion. I don't know. So it might be... I think there's still one guy here, yep. Might better get the kill there. Nope. A little... just... a little out of range. Let's get one guy here. There we go, nice. Let's try to use my range for advantage here. And last one's the sploosh. He's on the right side, and he has a friend jumping to the right there. He's not trying to push. I am very close to a Stingray again. And I'm... Uh, I'm kind of all for just defending right here. Because I have a Sting... well, I will have a Stingray. Eventually. Okay. So... I'm actually just gonna sting right now. They have to pop it. Might get the kill here, but I'm stingraying the Raymaker, so they cannot get it. Alright. Th this weapon is a big mishmash. <laughs> I mean, I think I was doing it, playing it well. I mean, we missed a couple of shots, which, I mean, can happen too, but just make sure that you don't miss your shots. Uh, but I think I applied... The frontline aspect and the backline aspect as best as I could there. So that's kind of how you would want to play uh, this sort of uh, squeezer, just so you know. All right, guys. So that is going to be the squeezer for today. So we're only going to do, of course, one game of the regular squeezer, just so I can I guess, show it off and give it a little bit of a display. Uh, but yeah, as you saw, that's just the regular squeezer. That's how it goes. It's, uh, it's like... Frontline, backline at the same time, but you want to also preserve your ray. So I think you probably you probably play this more backline more than anything, but you have the wall to assist you if you want to get into fights. Which I mean, it's not a bad mix in some cases. So uh, you know, it's it's quite nice. I kind of play, I, I played it as backline as I basically could. It plays a lot like the jet sculpture in my opinion, and I think it's actually really useful for how little special points that you actually need with it. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's one thing to note. And of course, you had the foil squeezer, 190, had the splat bomb and uh, bubble blowers, which is also a really great combo. It's much like the uh, Forge Splattershot Pro, if I can find it right here. So as you can see, it's such a bomb and bubble blower. Except foil is a splat bomb instead, so just so you can guys see that. But yeah, we showed a lot of foil today, so hopefully your foil squeezer uh, can get a lot better and hopefully you enjoyed the mishmash that is the regular squeezer um, because I personally think you know, I mean that the squeezer is a great weapon it's great it's a great weapon it's great at fighting uh, at things at super long ranges too so if you can take advantage of it as much as you possibly can then I think you can uh, get some good stuff going and of course with the foil squeezer some interesting things of course you can do the quick pop with the bubble blower and with the and the bomb and uh, the bomb can really assist you with a lot uh, of uh, stuff when you're trying to finish things off, as you saw in that Clamblitz game too, so. 
Okay, guys, so that's gonna be it. I'm, I'm rambling a little bit too much. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button, which lets you guys know whenever I upload a video. Also, consider joining my public Discord where you can go ahead and talk to myself, my Deuce Society community, and go ahead and be notified whenever I do go live for a Twitch stream. So, with all that being said, guys, thank you very much, and I shall see you guys in a future video.